Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. My name is Liz. I am coming to you today with, um, it's really not an unboxing, it's more, I'll say a review or I'm just showing you the cards. I did put them in order. It's the Grimalkin tar uh, Tarot Cards and it's by MJ Cullinane. Um, this particular deck has two extra cards. It's got the Grimalkin card and the Unity card. So it's got 80 cards total. And she put it out last year. She's doing the second printing. They're not out yet as far as I can tell. I will link to her page. She, she is self-publishing. So the only other place you may be able to get is if somebody was selling it, say, on eBay or Etsy or something like that. But I don't believe she's selling on Amazon or anything like that. I believe she's doing it just straight, strictly through her page. Anyway, it came in this cute little tin. And it came with this nice book. And the book is larger than the 10, clearly. I wish it was the same size as the 10. I would love to store it together. Um, but it's not definitely not a deal breaker because the book is very well done. Okay, so I'm going to start showing you. It also came in this cute little bag. And it's just a really nice deck. Now it is, the cards themselves are rather thin. Actually, they're quite thin. They're more like playing card stock. I believe that's what she uses. They're, they're very slick. They go all over the place. I mean, they, they do not stick to each other at all. Honestly, they shuffle and they will like fly around. Um, the This is the back right there, which is very pretty. I don't know if she's changing anything in the new format that she's doing. Or the new printing. I did notice actually when I was putting them together for you guys, I did notice a misprint on one card. Uh, I hadn't noticed it before, but I noticed it, so I'm assuming she's probably going to fix that. I will read from the book later. So, anyway, I'm going to start. And it's very cute. It's a beautiful deck. She does all the artwork herself, I believe, on her computer. So, The Fool. The Magician. Now, she does not have these numbered, so I have to look through the book because I don't know all of them yet. So, <laughs> I don't think I ever will, actually. I don't think I ever will. Anyway, as far as the order of the uh, Major Arcana. A High Priestess with the All-Seeing Eye. And I These particular cards Every single one of them is, on the book, they're dedicated to a cat or cats, depending if there's more than one. And I don't know if those, if these are based on specific cats that she got pictures from people, um, or if she just named the, the uh, page that she dedicated to particular cats. I'm, I'm assuming people sponsored it, but I don't know. So I'm just guessing here. Anyway, the Empress, I think that's very pretty. I love it. I love Siamese cats anyway. I mean, who doesn't love cats? The Emperor. Look at his face. He's so cute. <laughs> the Hierophant. Now that one, I would honestly, in my head, I would, because it's a mouse, I would have thought it might be death, but mm, it's kind of cute. I love this one. It's one of my favorites. The Lovers. Just very cute with the hearts entwining around the tree. The chariot. The strength. With the uh, dog or well, that could be a wolf actually. The hermit. Now when when she was creating this deck she sent out postcards um, with Updates and I got this as a postcard, so it was really kind of nice. The Wheel of Fortune with the hand of Fatima right there. Justice. The Hanged Man. Although, oh, you know what? I just know it's funny how you have a deck, you look, and you don't. I just noticed that the crow has his tail. It almost looked to me like he was just hanging out, but <laughs> he's been caught by the tail. Death. Oh, poor kitty. Temperance. 
This one's really clever. I love this one. The devil. Are you going to take the bait? Mm, may not be a good idea. The tower. The star. The moon. I love this one. How he's just sitting there looking at the moon. It's beautiful. He or she. Well, could be one or the other. The sun. Judgment. Now this is where I noticed the misprint. The E is missing there between the e, uh, G and the M. I'm sure she'll fix that. The world. Unity. And Grimalkin. Now these are the two extra cards. She's got them at the end of the Major Arcana. Okay, I actually might read on those just so you have an idea about her work or the way she writes. She, her her uh, style of writing is really nice. I like it. Um, okay, so now we're starting with Wands. Ace of Wands. Two of Wands. Three of Wands. Four of Wands. Five of Wands. Six of Wands. I love that. I like that a lot. Seven of Wands. Eight of Wands. Nine of Wands. Oh, look at him. <laughs> Somebody got a little wet. Ten of Wands. Page of Wands. Knight of Wands. Queen of Wands, King of Wands. Got pretty, so pretty. For some reason, the Ace of Cups in every deck that I see, I wind up just absolutely loving, no matter what deck it is. So, Ace of Cups, Two of Cups, I like that a lot. Three of Cups, Somebody had a party. Four of Cups. Five of Cups. Six of Cups. Seven of Cups. Eight of Cups. Nine of Cups. Ten of Cups. Look how cute. Page of Cups. Knight of Cups, Queen of Cups, King of Cups. Okay, we have a lot of motorcycles coming through right now. Um, it's a gorgeous day. It's been, you know, cold here and dreary and miserable. And all of a sudden we get the nice weather and the motorcycles all start to come out. And every once in a while I'll get like three, four, sometimes eight, nine, ten come right by the house streets usually pretty quiet but so if you're hearing that I'm sorry I'm not gonna stop the video because of it I really <clears throat> I really can't anyway I don't know how to edit okay so ace of swords two of swords three of swords oh I like that four of swords five of swords I like this one too. This one's really cool. The dog back there. He doesn't look. Let's see if you can see him. He he doesn't look threatening at all. You know, some some dogs are actually afraid of cats, especially big dogs for some reason. Because cats, you know, they can take over a household pretty quickly. I'm lucky. Mine does not do that. Mine is a very very sweet boy. He's not temperamental or anything. My dog, on the other hand, is quite temperamental. So, Six of Swords. Seven of Swords. Oh, got the little bird poor thing. Eight of Swords. Nine of Swords. 
head of swords. I mean, this, as, as you can see, they follow the Rider weight system as 90% of decks or more do that as it. But she's got a really interesting take on, on the um, imagery. Okay, Page of Swords, Knight of Swords, Queen of Swords, King of Swords. Ace of Pentacles, Two of Pentacles, Three of Pentacles, Four of Pentacles, Five of Pentacles, Six of Pentacles, Seven of Pentacles, Eight of Pentacles, Nine of Pentacles, I love that one. That is really, really pretty. I love that cat anyway. She looks a lot like one of my sister's cats, or I should say her, her my niece's cat. She looks so much like her. Ten of Pentacles. Page of Pentacles. Knight of Pentacles. Queen of Pentacles. And King of Pentacles. And as you can see, they definitely follow the right weight system. They are very beautiful. The coloring is gorgeous. The artwork is beautiful. Like I said, she designs these on her computer. She does, um, I think she said it was, she does paint, painting on the computer, something like that. I'm not exactly sure what it's called. Because I actually asked her once on her Instagram if she painted all this and she says she does paint and a lot of it she does on her computer so which is really neat um let's see i'm going to read on you know what i'm not even gonna pull the cards up i'll just read on we will read you know what we'll read the grimalkin because that's what it's called and we'll read that okay so it's dedicated to missy and as you can see she dedicates um, every card to a particular a cat. I'm assuming it's a cat. It has to be a cat. And, um, or, or multiple cats. Like this would have three cats on there. So she had three different cats. So, okay. So this is the Grimalkin and the symbolism. Birch trees, crone energy, wisdom, ancient knowledge, owl, magic, wonder, renewal, bat, Letting go of the past, transitioning, evolved connection with intuition, fox, seeking solitude, problem solving, being clever, snow, purification, finding peace, an end of a season, transformation. Okay, see, all oh, there's the bat, there's the owl. You know, I've seen this a million times, and I don't think I've ever noticed the cat, uh, the owl and the um, bat on that, um, that card there. Anyway, okay. So message, the great cat, the wise old, older woman. This deck is dedicated to the energy of those women who had walked the path before us, who created the trail we walked down so effortlessly today, forgetting that they were once there was once a time before it was carved out. If the Grimalkin should appear to you, it is because you could use healing and that will start with a dose of reality. It is time to re resist impulses to come from immaturity and go inward i'm sorry it is time to resist impulses oh my goodness let's start over it is time to resist impulses that come from immaturity and go inward are events happening to you or are you the one in control the wisdom of the matriarch lives within us where the unity card brings trust with others, the Grimalkin card asks you to cultivate trust with yourself, with your intuition and your spirit. Have patience with the world around you. Listen for the whispers of the crone as she will help you find your peace, your power, your unique magic. Energy attributes, positive, allows events to take place with patience and grace. Feeling drawn into, the na into nature, Content with life, highly intuitive, steps back and allows others to make mistakes so as to learn. 
offer healing and wisdom with a soft touch negative so this would be if it's upwards or reversed so negative would be, would be reversed prefers to be isolated retreats from society clings to old ways of doing things causes negative feelings or emotions as a result of being impatient or critical okay you know what sometimes when i'm reading and i know i trip over my words it's because in my head i read really fast and my tongue <laughs> Does not catch up with my head sometimes, so I trip over the words. Um, so that's one of her cards. Let's see if we can find another one here. We will do, you know what, we'll do Ten of Swords, because I always like the Ten of Swords card. I think that's a cool card to read on. Okay. Pages. Okay, so Ten of Swords, and this one's dedicated to Boots. Cool. I love that name. That's very cute. Symbolism. Crows, an audience to your suffering, being a martyr, roots, growth through strategy, discovering a deeper connection to life, sun, looking forward to the future, a light that replaces darkness, poppies, inner strength, message, alone at the bottom of the cliff, consumed by pain, the impaled cat cannot find the strength to move. As the weight of the swords are too heavy, it is time for the cat to admit that it is time to let go of this life so that another can begin. I think we can all agree here. No one likes to see the Ten of Swords in a reading. The card brings with it an energy of anguish that comes from hitting rock bottom. It means feeling disconnected and detached from help. Not only are you suffering, but you are also alone. The kicker here is also you accept this position and respect it for what it means. This is where you, you will stay, but there is hope. Once you acknowledge your circumstances, you have the ability to draw power, to make choices, to take action that will help you rise up. For some, of the, for some, the Ten of Swords points to defaulting to victimhood. This card is a reading in a reading may appear with the purpose of opening your eyes to a situation where you are blaming something or someone else without taking personal responsibility. Or are you playing the martyr because it attracts attention? Are you self-sacrificing because it feeds a desire to be accepted positive moving forward rising up after being knocked down negative self-pity playing the victim not taking responsibility okay so that's I, I love her style of writing I love her uh, insight into the cards and into tarot and um, I think if you if you get a chance to get this deck I would follow her on Instagram she's um, crow tarot I believe on Instagram or just look up Crow Tower. It'll come up. You'll be able to find if you do a quick search. I will link the page below to uh, order it. But like I said, it she's working on the second printing, which won't be out till probably this summer, I'm guessing. Um, and I'm not sure exactly how the cards are going to look. I don't know if they're going to be exactly the same or if she's changing a couple of things. I mean, she might. She might get a smaller book. She may change the size of the cards a little bit, the prints, um, cards, the, the card stock, I'm sorry, the card stock or something. I don't know. It just depends. But anyway, so that is the Grimalkin Tarot. I hope you enjoyed looking through it with me. I hope you have a fantastic day wherever you are and uh, enjoy, enjoy life as much as you can. Blessings and thank you.